Lesson 27, the laws of exponents. So let's go through some of the laws that we're going to be using when dealing with exponents. The first law is when you multiply like bases. So when we're multiplying x to a power times x to a power. When we multiply like bases, you add the exponents. And then for division, when you divide like bases, so x to a power divided by x to a power, you're going to subtract the two exponents. And it's always going to be whatever the exponent is on top minus the exponent on the bottom. And just a reminder that x, the base cannot equal 0 because anything that's a zero, anything with base is 0, it's going to be 0. So it can't be 0. And then the last, the last rule would be if you are raising a power, to a power. So if you have an exponent and then you're raising that to another exponent, you're going to multiply the two exponents. So let's take a look at some examples here. So let's find the missing exponent up for the following. So x to the fifth times x to the third. I'm going to add my exponents and that's going to be x to the eighth. 3 to the fifth divided by 3 to the third. I'm going to subtract my two exponents, so it would be 3 to the second. And then the last one, x cubed, and I'm going to square x cubed. This is really saying x cubed times x cubed times x cubed. Actually, x cubed times x cubed, so we're going to do it twice. When you multiply like bases, you're really adding the exponents, so that's why this would be x to the sixth. The shorter way would be just to multiply the two exponents there. Next one, find these missing ones, missing uh, exponents. So 5, x to the fifth times x squared would be x to the seventh. I'm just adding the exponents. x to the fifth divided by x squared, I'm subtracting it, so it would be x cubed. Then x squared to the third power would be x to the sixth power. That's the same thing as saying x squared times x squared times x squared. And then since we're all multiplying all those, you just add. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives you your 6. And the last problem is 3 to the 3rd times 2 squared would be 2 to the 5th power. 2 to the 5th divided by 2 squared would be 2 to the 3rd power. 2 to the 5th, when all that is squared, which would be 2 to the 10th power. 10 to the 8th times 10 to the 6th would be 10 to the 14th. So just adding these exponents. 10 to the 6th times 10 to the 3rd would be 10 to the 9th. 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 6th. You're subtracting the 2, so it would be 10 to the 2nd. And 10 to the 6th divided by 10 to the 2nd would be 10 to the 4th. So those would be our rules of, or the laws of exponents.